Okay, so you had a chance to look at the hero of this story. And oh, that doesn't work. Another page down. No, doesn't work. Okay. So uh, the origin of my collaboration with Jerzy Plebański was his lecture course on general relativity in the year 67, 68. I was then a student of the fourth year and uh, the period from uh, the period from 67 to 73, these were golden years of relativity at the Department of Physics in Warsaw, because two great masters were then active simultaneously, Jerzy Plebański and Andrzej Trautmann. And uh, the arrangement was such that during each academic year, one of them would give an introductory course on relativity while the other uh, would give uh, at the same time an advanced course called Selected Topics in Relativity. Uh, Jerzy Plebański had a very unorthodox approach to differential geometry. Uh, namely, he started by introducing a differentiable manifold on which, uh, on which only coordinates and tensors were defined and no other structures. And then he consecutively added new objects, gradually going down with generality. So the next objects he introduced were the covariant derivative and the affine connection was not assumed symmetric, parallel displacement, geodesic lines and the curvature tensor. And up to this point, uh, no metric was introduced. And only at this stage, he defined the pseudo-Riemannian geometry and specialized the earlier results to this class. So such ordering of the course uh, showed the students how general relativity could be generalized. And uh, well, sometimes Jerzy Plebański would forget uh, to make the break in the middle of the lecture. And uh, if the next students didn't knock on the door, he would extend the, the, the lecture for, by up to 45 minutes. And uh, well, toward the end of such a long lecture, listeners were falling on their noses uh, out of tiredom, but he was until the end full of fresh energy. Okay. Uh, a partial script to this course ex exists, typed in Mexico. It contains only the mathematical part and was not accessible in Poland. So we had to rely on our own notes. And there exists another script, uh, Piotr showed it very briefly, on conformally equivalent Riemannian spaces. And it contains one uh, particularly valuable piece, namely this is a, a general formula for conformal symmetries of a flat n-dimensional space. Uh, the constant CA are group parameters. And previously, Hantius in the 40s, uh, well, before the 40s actually, investigated special cases of this formula. But uh, I suspect that uh, Plebanski's script may be the oldest source in which the full formula is given. Okay, in the academic year 68, 69, uh, that was the time for me to prepare my uh, master's thesis under uh, Jerzy Plebanski's uh, supervision. And the subject of the thesis was the generalization of the Schwarzschild metric to n dimensions in complex coordinates. Now, in the real case, this metric was known, uh, it was found in a uh, 1963 by Frank Tangerlini. At that time, we were not aware of this. Uh, with zero cosmological constants, the metric looks like, like this. The, this here is the metric of the n minus two dimensional sphere. And one of the interesting points of this work was that when n is greater than four in complex coordinates, an interesting fact shows up, namely this equation when this uh, component of the metric is zero, has n minus three solutions. 
So there exist n minus three general complex generalizations of the kruskal sekeres coordinates, uh, a different a different uh, co coordinate set for each spurious singularity. Now this uh, thesis uh, uh, contains many more results, but I will skip them because of lack of time. Professor Plebanski worked on this topic in parallel with me, and it happened quite a few times that when I proudly showed him my new result, he would say, yes, I know, and would show me the same result in his notes. Uh, okay, this work was, okay, this, this is the how it looked uh, uh, when uh, first written. It was published with a long delay. I will uh, come back to this point later. In the same academic year, Jerzy Plebański gave a course on selected topics in general relativity, and it was mainly devoted to spinners. And a two-volume script on spinners appeared a few years later in Mexico. And unfortunately, it's not published until today. Uh, these texts exist only as uh, copies on, of handwritten notes. Now, in the same academic year, uh, Andrzej Jamiełkowski did his master's work with Plebanski. And Andrzej Jamiełkowski was, uh, well, this was an indirect uh, success of Jerzy Plebanski too. In later years, Andrzej was uh, director for three terms of the Nikolaus University, Nikolaus Copernicus University in Torun, and the chairman of the state accreditation committee. This committee decided which of the Polish educational enterprises had the right to give the certificates of um, masters of science validity to their graduates. This was a very important task in the early free market realities of Poland. Now, the next stage of our collaboration was working on uh, my PhD degree. And my PhD work resulted from the following consideration by Jerzy Plebanski. For a perfect fluid with this energy momentum tensor, if this fluid moves with rotation and has the equation of state of the barotropic type, the equations of motion can be written in this form. H is the uh, enthalpy per, per unit rest energy. It's, oh, well, it's not important, the exact formula. And then uh, Jerzy Plebanski used the Darboux theorem. This is a classification of one forms uh, by uh, the greatest number of factors that, uh, that are non-zero in, in such a combination. So when the Darboux theorem is applied to this form, uh, that through this equation, it implies that three functions exist such that this is a gradient of tau plus eta times the gradient of psi. And when the rotation is non-zero, there exists a, a one more function zeta, such that this equation here is uh, uh, fulfilled. And these functions uh, tau, eta, and psi are not unique. They are determined up to such transformations where this equation has to be fulfilled, while zeta is determined up to such transformation. The functions s, uh, and omega are arbitrary. These four functions are independent, so they can be chosen as coordinates. And since the fu functions that determine the non-uniqueness of the coordinates, uh, they depend only on psi and eta, something interesting could follow if the metric tensor also depended only on these two functions. Well, what followed was my PhD thesis and a series of papers, they are written, some of them are written here. The papers contain a family of solutions of Einstein's equations that were new at that time. They describe stationary cylindrically symmetric matter distributions and the matching vacuum metrics with non-zero cosmological constant. And this introductory reasoning that I uh, briefly in, uh, presented here is presented in the script on spinners and also in a separate booklet published in 1970. Okay, during his stay in Poland in 67 to 73, uh, Professor Plebanski initiated the PhD thesis of the following persons. Antoni Sim, uh, who died last year, 
Jerzy Kowalczyński, Anatol Odziejewicz, Krzysztof Ruzga and Maciej Przanowski. Now, not, not all of them managed to finish their thesis before Plebański left for Mexico. So after Plebański left, Bogdan Mielnik was their stand-in advisor. So in 1973, Jerzy Plebański left for Mexico and I moved to the Astronomical Center of the Polish Academy of Sciences. And then our meetings became brief and separated by long time intervals. Uh, Jerzy Plebański visited Warsaw a few times. I met him a few more times in Mexico and at various conferences. Now, in, uh, uh, in the winter 77 to 78, I was Jerzy Plebański's guest in Mexico for somewhat longer than two months. And Roy Kerr was also his other guest at the same time. We planned to generalize the Kerr metric beyond the result of Plebański and Demiański. But unfortunately, our time together did not suffi suffice for that. After the team split, none of us continued this work. And a true generalization, a 13 parameter metric generalizing curves was found a few years later by De Bever, Cameron, and McLanagan. And in spare time, uh, we prepared for publication my master's thesis from 69. Now, the last time we met was in Mexico in September 2002 during the conference celebrating Professor Plebański's 75th birthday. Well, you can see a few familiar faces in uh, this photograph. This is Fred Ernst here. This is Alberto Garcia, uh, Jerzy Plebański's favorite PhD student in Mexico. This is Paweł Nurowski. This is John Stachel, co-author of this famous paper on classification of Ricci tensor. Uh, this is Josh Goldberg. Uh, okay, this is Ivor Robinson. This is Daniel Finlay, only partly visible. Okay, and now I'm coming to our last joint work. At the Polish Academy of Sciences, I was not supposed to have contact with students. But as many of us know, isolation from students uh, is not very uh, is not very good for one's intellectual potential. So I used every opportunity to deliver some lecture course, mostly on relativity. And uh, while lecturing, I of course relied partly at the notes taken by uh, during Professor Plebański's lectures in sixty. 7 to 71. And in 2003, I decided to rework my notes into a textbook. And of course, I asked Jerzy Plebański to become its co author. He agreed, but was already too ill to actively participate in the editing of the book. So I communicated with him by mediation of Bogdan Mielnik, Maciej Czanowski, and Mrs. Anna Plebańska. The book was published by Cambridge University Press in 2006, but unfortunately, Jerzy Plewański didn't live long enough to see this book uh, in reality. The book contains the whole yellow script on uh, Riemannian geometry, pieces of, of the conformally related spaces script, and uh, an introductory part of the spinner script. Now, the physical part goes uh, beyond uh, Jerzy Plebański's lectures by a discussion of incomogeneous cosmological models and a detailed discussion of the Kerr metric. Now, the mathematical part is slightly extended for a general theory of symmetries, the Bianchi classification, and different approaches to Petrov classification. Okay, this is my goodbye slide. Here you can see Jerzy Plebański surrounded by friends during his birthday conference in 2002. And this here is my personal collection of Jerzy Plebański's scripts. Uh, they are a subset of those uh, that Piotr Kielanowski showed. Okay, this is all. Thank you.